Hi there, so it's been a while since my last video and a lot of you asked me to, to deliver it in English. I can make it for the previous video but maybe start from now we'll deliver it in English. Hope you can enjoy it. Um, anyway, so now I, ha I would like to uh, give you a tutorial about uh, CO2 injection in uh, Petrel. Although I never do, the, do this before, but um, I've been searching and I think this is the basic operations uh, when we uh, employ Petrel rather than Eclipse. I have a case right here. So we're gonna start with model overview that uh, I, will, I will give an example of one production well and one injection wells um, single porosity and permeability I use 25% uh, porosity and 100 millidrc um, and compositional is mandatory for this light oil I'm using it um, single relative permeability so no uh, only one relative permeability and uh, gas relative permeability and then for the injection fluid we're gonna build a co2 pure component and and how to build to the separator and then we go to the scenario we build the scenario for four years with and without uh, co2 injection we're gonna see through the keywords and we are gonna see the result and compare the runtime So without further ado, um, wait. So the model overview. One well production injection. This is a single layer. Of, I'm giving CO2 name for the model. We're gonna use only permeability and porosity for the properties for the group properties i mean a single zone and a, s a single segment right so uh, and the fluids gotta delete this one only use the reservoir fluid and the co2 for the injection okay um I believe that you guys are already uh, capable to perform a black oil simulation or um, everything that I explained in the previous uh, so, uh, previous videos. Now that what we need to do is only to make an injection fluid for the CO2 and uh, prepare the separator. So how to build it? We go to the simulation, make a fluid model. As we can see here, we have two uh, fluid model. First is the res for the reservoir fluid, and the second is the CO2. As for basic operation, we create the new properties. Let's say we're gonna use dry gas over here. And we'll generate. We're gonna exclude water from the properties. As we can see, there are. It will build from CO2 to C7 plus, and the interaction of each component and the samples. Now, in samples, we're gonna put a hundred for the CO2, zero for everything else. Right, and the initial condition we're gonna give the temperature of the reservoir and click for the dry gas itself. Now, the pressure I'm gonna give the 14.7, and the datum depth is I think 1. Right, 
and then to supply so uh, we already have the new injection uh, new fluid model for the injection I'm gonna delete this one since I already have the CO2 hope it is still the same let's check out I mean I built it last night so I'm giving the a samples from the I don't know which initial condition right okay and then we go to the hmm, let's see separator modeling so for the separator modeling after we make a fluid sample we must build the separator okay so we just need to create new separator and define our type uh, our separator type in this case I'm using standard condition this is only one stage fill in the temperature and pressure and the liquid destination and vapor destination is in stop and the surface EOS is a drop down from the float model that we previously built and put it in here and then okay that's all and we move forward to the scenario build we uh, I want to build four years with and without injection to see the impact from the injection wells okay and we go to to build it we go to the development strategy let's say I build the first uh, case is to production only I'm gonna build it from 2015 January until 2019 we're gonna put well reproduction control the first well production well I'm gonna give it a 4,000 barrel and the pressure control to the minimum bottom hole pressure of 500 psi for the second uh, case or scenario we're gonna do uh, gonna start it the same as the production case the same well with a 4000 uh, liquid rate and the 500 minimum bottom hole pressure but at the 2016 a year later gonna give injection of the CO2 itself so we need well gas injection control for the wells control mode using surface rate in this case and I give and I give a 5 uh, mm SCF I divide with well separator to inject gonna give the well and the separator that we built previously and the well injection stream I put the well source composition is one I'm gonna give you the I'm gonna give you a brief explanation uh, related to the keyword gonna uh, export from the user interface we use in Petrel and what's conferred to the Eclipse so anyway I'm using composition one means 100% for the CO2 and uh, separator stage number is only one gonna gonna finish it at 2019 for the for both case so we include it in our divine simulation case I think it's a basic operation put a permeability and porosity uh, we choose the um, sorry compositional fluid model of course for the neutrality permeability we use the, uh, a simple one single permeability and a composition fluid model from the fluid model that we built before and rock compaction and strategy I'm gonna fill in uh, all the basic operation um, except in result I guess since we use uh, um, I mean I use uh, petrol 2015 so yeah uh, I don't know we uh, either this is easier for you or uh, it's gonna be complicated for a little bit complicated for the uh, older user who used to uh, 
play with the keyword greater than the panel set in 2015 and beyond anyway I add um, some other summary for the uh, scenario itself such as liquid projection rate you have to take all uh, the well uh, which which uh, order that you wanna output and or you you wanna see through the result liquid production in my um, in my uh, proposed uh, liquid production rate and the component flow rate for the total and component gas injection rate or the gas production so we we can see the uh, within the result graph whether how much the gas production comes from the injection or from the uh, reservoir fluid itself okay and then we go run the simulation and we're gonna see uh, since I have run it and uh, we're gonna see through the result of both cases and going to the function window go to result this is my well production in my case um, oil I mean you should go to the rate uh, rates okay I want to see the rates liquid production rate from the case of production and from injection as we can see there are gaps in here the injection is uh, already works immediately when we start the injection in January 2016 so it's immediately give response since the uh, I guess the distance between both well is quite near you should see this one uh, in simulation pretty so sorry I have not give you the perspective of the model in the previous uh, time let's say in the production in the initial condition this is the oil saturation at the initial right okay oops pardon me I have to set this thing up so you can see clear say it clearly okay so this is the initial condition of the of the reservoir this is the the black one is the injection well I'm gonna change the color of the well to red so you can differentiate it uh, more easy and the green is a produ producer well so uh, if we go through the time as we can see the, the oil saturation is a decrease as production is uh, moving on and when in injection let's say 2016 okay. and when the injection at the 1st January there are no difference but after it as we can see this is the right in in this location see it not decrease but it increase in there since there are movements of uh, the uh, zero is pushing and sweep sweat the oil within area of injection well we can also uh, see through the grid whether which hydrocarbon uh, I mean which component is filling up the reservoir as we can see in this production case at uh, April 2016 we did not see uh, the build up of CO2 component surround the injection wells and yeah that 0 0.02 uh, 
of total fraction of fluid reservoir so no CO2 at all but at the injection as we can see it's building up to uh, yeah many uh, it increased the uh, number of CO2 so the uh, simulation has working as what we, what we expected and the you can j just play with the 3D or uh, grid properties as it resulting uh, it uh, generates things that you gonna need for the uh, analysis and also in function windows from the graph I think that's all that you need for the to run the simulation so about the runtime I guess we can see it through the time and I'll see through the print file this one is for production and this one for the e injection you're gonna see a higher a very significant amount of time that required for to run the injection it's about maybe about two times from the production itself okay I think that's all that we gonna need and I can deliver to you to run the CO2 injection for the uh, using the petrol once more if you wanna go to I mean the keywords that it required to run the um, injection CO2 injection I mean go to the editor of the case go to the schedule so we see through the timeline in January it required a well control injection separator condition well separator condition well stream well injection gas if you want to know what is each keyword means you can use simulation launcher from the eclipse go to the manual run and go to eclipse reference manual Seek for the keyword that you curious to know. In my example, let's say we want to see what is uh, where W in injection gas. Go to the keyword and read what does it mean and uh, the format it required to run as you propose in the simulation okay I think that's all hope you uh, hope you guys um, can make a benefit from it see you in another video if you have any other requests to uh, uh, required in your simulation or something else maybe you drop down the message and we'll figure it out thank you all have a nice day